Good morning, students. Today we are going to learn next type that is uh, problems based on numbers. Okay. In previous video, we have learned that problems based on articles and their cost. Okay. So today we are going to learn problems based on numbers. So first problem is sum of two numbers is thirty-five and their difference is thirteen. Find the numbers. Okay. So this one is easy. We have to suppose that two numbers are x and y. So let two numbers are x and y. Okay. So sum of two numbers is thirty-five. So by using this condition, we can write equation is x plus y is equal to thirty-five. And the difference is 30. So here I am taking x is greater than y. So x minus y is equal to 30. Okay. So x plus y is equal to 35, and x minus y is equal to 30. These are two linear equations. So if we solve this, we will get x and y. So adding one and two. So if we add this two equation. Plus y minus y will get cancelled. X plus x that is a 2x and 35 plus 13. So this is a 48. So x is equal to 24. Okay. So if we put x is equal to 24 in any one equation, so here I am putting in equation one. So from one, I can write 24 plus y. Is equal to 35. So y is equal to 35 minus 24. That is 11. So y is equal to 11. So two numbers are 24 and 11. Okay. And one more thing is there. One more problem is there. Write the final answer. So write like this. So two numbers are 24. And eleven. Okay, so two numbers are twenty-four and eleven. Understand this? Now we will take second. The second example is in a two-digit number, the units digit is twice the tens digit. If twenty-seven is added to the number, the digits interchange their places. Find the number. Okay, so this is two-digit number. So we have to suppose that let the unit units digit be x and tens digit be y. Okay. So if we suppose that suppose this is a unit place and this is tens place. Unit place we have to suppose that x. Tens place that is a y. So if unit place is x, tens place is y, then number that is a ten y plus x. Okay. Many students still don't understand how this came. Okay, ten y plus x here. If suppose this is this number is twenty seven. So twenty seven. Unit place is seven. Suppose this number and then twenty-seven. So unit place is seven. Ten place is two. So this we can write two into ten plus seven. So same here. Unit place digit is x. Ten place digit is y. So number is ten into y plus x. Okay. Now what is given in a two-digit number? The unit digit is twice the tens digit. Okay, unit digit means x. That is a twice the tens digit. So x is equal to two y. This is first equation. Okay. Second, if twenty seven is added to the number. Okay, see here in first digit is given in first condition. Digit is given, and in second condition, if twenty-seven is added to the number, so number is ten y plus x 
okay if 27 is added to the number we will get another number okay this is first number original number is 10y plus x if 27 is added to this number we will get number okay in that number the digits interchange their places okay means x is here and y is here okay so what is the number nx plus y okay so if 27 is added to the original number we will get another number in that number this digits interchange their places so we will get number is nx plus y okay so this is second equation now we have to simplify this so 10y minus y 9y x minus 10x that is a minus 9x okay and this plus 27 if we shift here this is a minus 27 okay so if we divided by 9 we will get y minus x is equal to minus this is equation 2 okay so if we solve 1 and first and second equation then we will get value of x and y okay so here directly value of x is given to y so directly substitute this value of x is equal to 2y here so solving 1 and 2 okay so we will get y minus value of x is 2y so 2y is equal to minus 3 so y minus 2y that is minus y is equal to minus 3 so y is equal to 3 okay if we substitute this value y is equal to 3 here we will get x is equal to 2y that is x is equal to 6 okay so now x is equal to 6 y is equal to 3 and our number is 10y plus x okay so 10 into 3 that is a 30 plus 6 or you can directly substitute here y 3 x 6 so number is 36 so here we can write therefore number is 36 okay understand this one now we will take third example the third example is the sum of the digits of a two digit number is 8 and the difference between the number and that formed by reversing the digits is 18 ok so first condition is given sum of the digits of two digit number is 8 and difference between second condition is difference between number and if we change the digits or if we reverse the digits then we will get another number so difference between that two numbers is given 18 ok so first let number or we can write unit digit unit digits unit units digit of two digit number b x and tens place digit tens place digit b y ok now sum of the digits of two digit number is 8 so we can write directly x plus y is equal to 8 sum of the digits of two digit number is 8 then second condition the difference between the number so if units digit is x tens place digit is y number is 10y plus x so difference between the number and that form by reversing the digits so if we reverse the digits tens place become x and unit place become y so difference between that that is a 10x plus y is equal to 80 so this is first equation and this is second equation now we have to simplify this equation so 10y plus x minus 10x minus y is equal to 18. Now 
10 y minus y that is a 9 y x minus 10 x minus 9 x is equal to 18. So if we simplify this, if we divide it by 9, then we will get y minus x is equal to 2. This is equation 2. Now we have to solve this. If we add directly, so adding 1 and 2, adding 1 and 2, we will get, so see here, if we add this equation 1 and 2, plus x and this minus x will get cancelled, plus y plus y, 2y, so 2y is equal to 8 plus 2, that is a 10, so y is equal to 5. So if y is equal to 5 and if we substitute in equation 1, so from 1 x plus 5 is equal to 8, so x is equal to 3, okay. So x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 5, so number is 53, we have to find original number, so unit digit is x, so that is a 3 and tens place is y that is a 5 here. so number is or we can write the required number is 53 ok understand this one now we will take one more example fourth example is the sum of a two digit number and the number obtained by reversing the order of its digits is 121 and the two digits differ by 3 find the number ok so let units digit be x and tens digit be y ok means unit plus digit is x tens plus digit is y so if we form number that is a 10y plus x ok that is the original number if we reverse the digits then we will get number is 10x plus y and sum of that two number is 121 ok so first condition from first condition we can write equation first is 10y plus x this is the number ok if we reverse the digits then tens digit is x and unit digit is y so we will get number is 10x plus y and sum of these two number is given 121 so if we simplify this x plus 10x 11x 10y plus y 11y is equal to 121 so if we simplify this we will get x plus y is equal to 11 so we have to divide it by 11 this is equation 1 now second equation is the two digits differ by 3 means difference between x and y is 3 now we don't know which one is greater either x is greater or y is greater so here I am taking x minus y is equal to plus minus 3 ok because we don't know which one which digit is greater either x is greater or y is greater so if x is greater x minus y is plus 3 if y is greater x minus y is minus 3 so we have to take both equations ok so here we have to solve first x plus y is equal to 11 and x minus y is equal to plus 3 ok here I am taking plus 3 so if we solve this we will get value of x and y and another set we have to solve that is x plus y is equal to 11 and x minus y is equal to minus 3 ok so from this set of equation we will get one number and from this set of equation we will get another number ok so both answers are correct so if we solve this here I am giving 3 4 and this is the 5 6 ok so if we solve this equation number 3 and 4 if we add this so directly I am solving here this is uh, ok so here I am solving this 3 and 4 so 
If we add this two, we'll get directly two x is equal to eleven plus three. That is a fourteen. So x is equal to seven. And if we put x is equal to seven here, y is equal to four. Okay. So number is tens places y and unit places x. So number is given number is here. Or we can write number is. Forty-seven. Okay, and if we solve this one, if we add this plus y minus y will get cancelled. Two x is equal to eight. X is equal to four. So if x is four, y is seven. So number is seventy-four. Okay. So from this set of equation, we will get forty-seven, and here it is seventy-four. Okay. So see. See here, you can observe this difference between these two digits is three. Okay, seven minus four is three. Here also seven minus four is three. Okay, here y is greater than x. Here x, sorry, sorry, y is smaller than x, and here y is greater than x. Okay, so possible numbers. Are forty-seven or seventy-four because both answers are correct. Forty-seven plus seventy-four is one twenty-one, and difference between the digits is three. Okay, so these both numbers are possible numbers. Okay, understand this. So if this type of condition is there, that two digits differ by three. So we have to take equations like this way: x minus y is equal to plus minus three. Okay? We don't know which number means which digit is greater. Okay? Unit plus digit is greater than tens plus, or tens plus digit is greater than unit plus. Okay? We don't know. So for that, we have to take equations like this way: x minus y is equal to plus minus three. Okay? Understand this? Now for revision. you have to solve examples in worksheet